Hi there folks, in this video what we're going to do is play around and change some of the uh, previous code that we had it. Had it? Had. That's a good start to this one as well. So <laughs> what we're going to do, at the moment we currently have our username within our shop which we have our shop listed items and then our actual shopping cart. At the moment if I click on the objects it overwrites the first element within the array. So what we're going to do is quickly fix this. So if we execute the program and then have a look on the actual shop code, if you remember, we created a function to make our lives easier, and that was the add game function, which can be found just here hidden among all these get texts. So with this, what we're going to do is just make it uh, work properly, which isn't actually that difficult. So within the add game code, at the moment, we have a lot of confusing information happening. The actual issue with this code is just here. This bit here, which actually takes the objects from the shop and tries to put it into the basket. What it's doing is it's actually making a single array for every single one of these, and it's just overwriting the same array over and over and over and over again. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit this so it actually works properly. So we're going to highlight the set information, the make current structure, the get which leads from the array for the total object values and the current object values and the current object name and just delete this. We're going to keep the gets which are set to the object in input index just here for the cost and the name. I'm happy with those. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the shopping game mode information, drag out of here, and then we're going to get the basket, like so, and we're going to break the basket into the elements that we have. Excellent, so we have the actual array for the string and the array for the integers, and instead of treating it as a common array, we're going to treat it more like a list, though not in the best way. <laughs> what we're going to do is drag out of the object name and type add. What add will do is it will add the information and the values within this information to this array. So if I then just quickly assign this to here and get the object names from the objects which are clicked on to the add, what should now happen is it should add them on top of each other. Let's just add another one. So instead now I'm adding them into different indexes within the actual array itself and just assign the cost information exactly the same way and then the total value we don't actually have to deal with at the moment. We can deal with that much later, which is really what we want to do. So if we then go to play, we then log in as Bob and password, there we go. Now if I click on them, it will add them to array elements and it would keep going if I added in all the other text fields for all the other costs. Right, and that, folks, is how we then add items to our shopping basket. In the next video, what we'll then do is we'll have a little system which will then take us to the till so we can now pay for our items. Thank you for watching.